Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. This tutorial will look at comparing two lists of data for both duplicate and then for unique records. So on the screen at the moment I have two lists side by side. I would like to compare these lists first of all to look at the duplicate records. I want to see those records that appear in the first list and also in the second list, which in this scenario it's pretty much all of them, <laughs> with the exception of two, as we can see uh, at the bottom of these lists. The first list is 20 records, the second one only 18. Now the plan here is to use the match function. In a previous tutorial, I've looked at using VLOOKUP uh, to achieve this. There are multiple ways of, uh, of identifying duplicate records and, and unique records in one list or in two lists. Uh, here we're going to look at the match function. Now the match function is there to return the relative position of an item within a list. So if it finds it, it will return the, the row number that it is in, in this example. If it does not find it, it will return the hash and a error message. With this information to hand, our plan now is to identify the duplicate records. So, I'd like to identify these by using conditional formatting very popular. So the first thing I will do is select the cells that I wish to format. And then I'll go to conditional formatting, new rule, I want to look at how to use a formula to determine the cells in which to format. And within here, I'm going to enter the match function. So I'm going to say equals match and an opening bracket. Now when you type these functions, sometimes it's easier to type them on the spreadsheet and then copy and paste them into this box as opposed to typing them straight into here. Because you don't get any help when you're within a feature, like conditional formatting. But when you're on the, the cell of the sheet, it's going to prompt you for the arguments and the information that it needs in order to do its job. So you have to know it pretty well if you're going to go diving straight in here, uh, which hopefully I do. And the first question here is, what do you want to look for? And our information is that that membership ID, or each of the membership IDs. But we can't say each one. We've got to click on the first one, and then we've got to take that dollar sign out before row two, as our way of saying, you know, move between each row, look at all of the records, but stay within column A. Then we'll put in a comma, and it asks us, where would you like me to look for the ID? I'm going to say look at all of them, look at that array, look at that range. Uh, fix so it does not move. Comma. Are you looking within a range for this or is it something unique? Is it an exact match? It is an exact match. We're looking for a membership ID. has to be bang on the money, that ID. Anything else is not good enough. Zero means exact match. Close in bracket. And we'll go straight into format our cells. And I'll go for this kind of orangey pinky sort of colour. Um, and I'll click OK. And that will highlight 18 of them 20 records, the 18 featured over here. So it highlights the whole row because I selected the whole range here. And it's looking for those records where it actually finds them. So it's returned the row number. Technically, conditional format will take that as true. So let's, let's tweak that somewhat. Let's select that range of cells again. And I'll go into conditional formatting. And we're going to go into manage rules to look at how that can be edited to bring back the unique records as opposed to the duplicate records. So manage rules, select that rule, and edit rule above. And what we're going to do is we're going to click just after the equals there and put in the is an A error message. Open in bracket, close in bracket at the end. So if the match function cannot find what it's looking for, it will return the hash and a error message. We're going to use the is an a function to recognize that and create a true statement. So if a hash and a is returned, it will say yes when it's returned, and therefore conditional form will format it. So we know that these are the items that are missing from that second list, they are unique. Leave the same formatting and click OK and OK, and it will switch it around, and now it's identifying the two that are missing from the second list. So there's a great technique there for identifying those duplicate or unique records when comparing two lists. 
Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out some or other tips, some or other tutorials at computergaga.com. See you there.